Yo, 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 it's your boy AJ Fasholi here, back with another episode of Exposure Talk. Uh, I'm not gonna waste your time, we're gonna dive right in. Lego! Bruh, Antonio Brown, what's up, man? Nigga! Man, look, y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all this right now. If you, anybody knows me and knows my feelings about sports and all that, you guys know I'm like the most pro player, pro athlete, anti the system, anti the machine person that you can find. But I have no more excuses for Antonio Brown at this point. If you know the story of Antonio Brown this year, then you know this dude has been tripping. This dude quit on the Steelers, got traded to Buffalo Bills, but he scratched that. Got traded to the Oakland Raiders. They cut up his old contract, gave him a brand new contract with $30 million guaranteed. He completely worked his way out of Oakland for whatever reason. He didn't come to practice. He didn't show up. He was complaining about uh, the new rules as far as the helmets are concerned. He had frostbite on his feet because he was in France or something using the the the, the chronolo whatever that thing that freezes you to make you feel better, which I don't believe in that. That shit is cold. Comes to practice, cusses out the general manager, gets into it with the coach. They void his contract. All that guaranteed money gone. Then he gets picked up by the Patriots. Then, of course, the sexual harassment, the rape allegations comes out. He gets dropped by the Patriots after one game. And then he continues to go on social media tirades ever since. But honestly, his, his last stunt, to me, takes a cake. So yesterday morning, Antonio Brown had a Hollywood police officers call to his home over a domestic disturbance. From Antonio's side of the story, he allowed the mother of his child to come and pick up the children to take their children to school. I guess when she came, she wanted to take one of his cars to take the kids to school. And Antonio Brown wasn't having that. And he called the police saying that she was trying to steal. And if that was the case, cool. But everything that happened afterwards was completely uncalled for. Police, I need help, man. It's nine in the morning, I gotta go to work, man. You ain't got no job. Sir, what is she doing in the car, sir? Sir, what the f my car moving? Sir, my car is flat. What are you doing? Sir, what the f moving my car? She haven't just she just came in Uber, sir. I let her in the gate to get the kids. Ain't nothing in the past, bro. You guys keep playing. I need my key. Can you get my key? Can you get my key from her? How you working on it, bro? I just called the police. She's she's not if she's a victim here, she shouldn't be here. She got my keys for stealing. How long are you gonna work and you guys been here for 40 minutes and nothing happened? Nah, how long is it gonna take to work on it? They show up and try to steal. Pacer now, look at her. Pacer. Look, she trying to steal. You better take the kids to school, you here trying to steal cars. Take her bum ass to jail, bro. Ask her where she live. Lil man. Lil man. Sir, ask her where she stays, sir. She don't live here, sir. What do you mean, hey, background information? You guys not giving me no justice. I, this, what you mean? How is that? This girl come here to get the kids' school clothes. She's staying in the hotel. Okay. She come, I give her the access to get in to get the kids to leave. She's still in my car. This not, bro, she's staying in the hotel. Okay. What we not understanding? She told this guy right here. She told him, get out the car. She's not getting out the car. Yo, she's still in my car. My car is flat. She shouldn't be here. I already got her evicted notice kicked out. Every time I call you guys, you guys ain't making no got, report on I my got, car. I got a question for you. All right. Is this a, a car that was gifted to her? Bro, it's not gifted, bro. It's my car, my name. Yeah, because I already, because I call you guys already. You're not listening. Get, well, nah, you ain't trying to get information. information. I already get information because I don't feel like you guys helping me at all. I'm asking you questions. Yeah, so and I I'm talking to you. Story. Bro, you already know the story. You guys been here three, four times. I haven't. You know but you the sergeant. Okay. It's different officers. It's nah, officers. bro, you guys talk. This this car been looking for it for three, four weeks. I don't want you guys. We talking like man. Let's be real. Okay. This girl came to take my kids to school. I let her access to get the clothes. Okay. She's coming out here still in the car. Ask her how she got here. I don't know how she got here. Okay. To get the kids clothes. I
You got your kids, baby. Figure it out. Don't be over here trying to cope with the math. Where your other two kids? Look at her. Chelsea, you look like a fish. <laughs> that was so funny, y'all, man. Chelsea, you look like a fish. Can I have my key from her? Sir, does it take that long? Sir, I, I don't mean to be disrespectful. And, and, this been drama going on for three weeks, bro. Will be done I just need the key to my car. What is illegal to get my own car? Sir, I just need the key to my car. I don't want to deal with this. Fish. Fish head. <laughs> hey, what a bag of dicks. It's the bag of dicks. I'll keep the kids, man. Slammer already, man. She want to go to jail. Fish head. Fish head. A bag of dicks. <laughs> Sir, can I have my key? Why did it take that long for a woman who don't have a job? She can't afford a Billy. The Billy. My band's are tired, sir. I just need my key so I can go on with the day. I'll take the kids. I'll take my kids right now. You working on it. What the? What is it to work on? She's been defiant about the key. I need the key. Yo, there's nothing in there for her, sir. I, I evict her. You want an eviction notice? Uh, there's no eviction of record. It is eviction of record. Let me show you. <laughs> I'll show you. I'm going to show you. Yeah, of course I'm going to show you. Now, you guys not helping. It's been 40 minutes. Yeah, but I feel like when I give it to you, you can't help. This girl's stealing right now and you can't do nothing. You're not doing, you're not helping me anyway. The police don't help black people. I've seen it right here. The police don't help black people. Look, you got a white woman stealing, only that she can't afford, and you got another white guy. Go. No, I need my house key. She only took, she only took out this. She got my house key purse. Do you have his house key? Hell yeah, you got my house key. Oh, bag of dick. Oh, goodbye. You wish you could take me, you bitch. Congrats, you made the news. Still ducking one time, you heard? Hey, bro, come on now, dog. Come on, man. Now, I'm going to tell y'all the truth. I've dealt with some crazy baby mama drama in my life. Um, I have two children, same mom. But uh, that's a whole other video for me to talk about that baby mama drama with my kid's mom. But I don't think I would ever get to that point with her. And not even just that point with her. I would never get in that point with her with my kids right there that was the thing that got everybody messed up it's not that she was calling her all type of bitches and hoes and fish face and you know eat a bag of baby dicks or whatever it's the fact that your babies was right there you're talking all this stuff about their mom in front of the babies i don't know if there's any coming back from this I don't know if there's any NFL team that would take the time to sign Antonio Brown after this latest development in his life because he's just a, a, a he's just I don't know man it's just reckless bro <laughs> like it's I wouldn't want him on my team I wouldn't want him on the Giants I wouldn't want him on the Texans I wouldn't want that BS on my team to where somebody would have to deal with that because I mean if, if you're talking to the mother of your child like that and you just disrespecting her in front of the whole world like that like who who is anybody else to you you know what I'm saying like who I don't bro Antonio Brown tripped out with this one man I just really hope that somehow some way this man gets the help that he needs because if he does it, man, he, he's already self-destructed himself as far as making NFL money. He lost $30 million. But now this man just needs mental help for the remainder, like, just so he can live a decent quality of life for the remainder of his days. Because I don't know if suiting up for an NFL team is probably going to be something Antonio Brown ever does ever again. But I could be wrong. So if you guys think I'm wrong, please drop a couple comments below. Just talk about it. Tell me how you feel about it because I think this is ridiculous. I think this is crazy and I think my man's done. So if you think otherwise, let me know, y'all. Holla.